Gentlemen, it's time for another pep talk, P-E-P, -E Passionately Empowering People. Today's topic is Vantage Point, Vantage Point. I uh, got the idea for this topic uh, based on the, the movie Vantage Point. If you haven't seen it in a while or have, have not seen it at all, uh, pretty much it's just a movie uh, just playing out the events of a particular day uh, around the uh, a president's a speech that was supposed to take place and it had a very significant um, value on that point in time uh, and it was supposed to be this big to do and uh, you know a lot of people showed up for this event uh, the main characters Dennis Quaid and uh, uh, Forrest Whitaker uh, they play significant roles in the layout of this movie as well but it just uh, pretty much showed the events of that day leading up to that uh, speech that was supposed to take place uh, and at that event the president was actually supposed to be assassinated and abducted and it was all orchestrated from a, uh, a man on the inside but um, Dennis Quaid his sole purpose in the movie was to protect and save the president uh, he had just got reinstated uh, back on the force and his sole purpose was to do just that protect the president Forrest Whitaker, uh, he had to, he had a different kind of perspective and part to play in the events of that day. He was there, uh, just taking a little time off, trying to regroup and uh, go back home and readdress some issues with his uh, wife and kids. Uh, but his purpose was to uh, save a little girl, a little girl that had bumped into him, dropped the ice cream on the concrete. He offered to pay for it, and the, the, the little girl's mom said, no, that won't be necessary. Uh, later on in the movie, he actually had to save the little girl from being run over by the terrorists who were trying to get away with the president whom they had abducted. So needless to say, when I watched it years ago, I really didn't understand it until I watched it a couple of days ago with my wife, particularly because I'm at a different point in my life a different vantage point in my life, a different view, a different perspective. So I was able to understand a little bit more why the the movie was uh, laid out the way it was. The events of the day uh, took place. They they showed all the events uh, from Dennis Quaid's point of view up to the attempted assassination and the abduction. Then they would rewind it and show it from a different point of view, from the terrorists, from a reporter. Uh, from Forrest Whitaker uh, and somebody that was also being manipulated to participate uh, in the abduction of the president as well. So each time they'd get up to the assassination it would rewind and go back and show somebody else's point of view. And what I got from watching that movie is that Dennis Quaid, he was in a tight situation and he had to use, uh, think outside the box and use all his resources to figure out the scheme of what was going on so that he could fulfill his his job, his task, was, which was to save and protect the president. Uh, Forrest Whitaker, who was there, just, you know, taking a little time off to himself, uh, you know, trying to, you know, refresh his mind and, and then go back and deal with some issues, some personal issues. He was actually filming the whole events of that day leading up to the assassination, the bomb, and, and all that. So Dennis Quaid had to uh, quickly gather the camera footage from Forrest Whitaker so he can try to figure out what was going on. But what I got from that was the same uh, the, the same hours and, and the day that was leading up to that event where the president was supposed to speak, it everybody in their own personal way it, it had a different meaning for every character in the movie same day same event same everything but depending on who you are and where you are in your life the events of that day took on a total different meaning so what I understand is everybody has the same 24 hours but the question is what are you doing with your 24 hours I heard somebody say the billionaire and the beggar have the same 24 hours in a day. Again, what are you doing with your, those 24 hours? And furthermore, 
I realized that you can't see the picture when you're in the frame. You cannot see the picture when you're in the frame. You have to take some time out, as Forrest Whitaker did, back up and, and take a look at the same scenario or situation from a different vantage point, a different viewpoint, and then attack so that you can have a positive outcome on the situation. So uh, when Forrest Whitaker had, had seen the events take place, he quickly made a phone call to his wife and kids and said, hey, tell the kids I'm okay. I'll see y'all soon. I'll be back home shortly. So if you can't see the picture in the frame, you got to figure out how you're going to look at it from a different viewpoint, from a different vantage point. Now, if your life is, if, if you're satisfied with your life, uh, bills are paid off, you got your, kill, your children's uh, cottage tuition already set aside or paid for, uh, you have an inheritance for your children's children, this message may not be for you. If you've already reached the pinnacle of success that you, you, you know you deserve and can achieve, this message may not be for you. But if you're anything like me and you feel like the best is yet to come, if you feel like the rest of your life will be the best of your life, listen up. Listen up. Uh, you're going to have to seek out people who are at the point of success that you're reaching for. People who are at the top. People who are already there at the destination that you're headed that you're you you are seeking you've got to be around and develop and cultivate relationships with people who are doing what it is you want to do so they can rub off on you so you can learn from them so you can grow into the the, the person that you were designed to be so a lot of us are at different points and, and have different ambitions and different aspirations. Some of us may be trying to start churches, uh, nonprofit organizations, a business. Uh, some of us may just be wanting to uh, patch up some relationships. Uh, some of us may be on a financial freedom run uh, so that you can create a better life for your, your family on, on every level. Uh, it just depends on who you are and what your level and, and what you uh, deem success to be. So, for instance, if you are aspiring to be a business owner, you've got to find some business owners to surround yourself with that you can learn from. Uh, if you want to be a millionaire, you got to surround yourself with some millionaires who are willing to uh, coach and mentor you. So, ultimately, you're going to have to do some things that you don't ordinarily do. So some of you may be saying, well, I don't know any business owners. I don't know any millionaires. I don't know any highly successful people. Well, I do. I do. I'm here to help you. Uh, once, we, once we reach a certain level, we are to pay it forward. Now, I'm not a millionaire, but I know some millionaires. I know some highly successful, wealthy people who are teaching me the methods and te techniques that they use to get what they have so that I can ultimately ultimately achieve the kind of success that they've achieved. So in order to do that, you gotta look at your life from a different vantage point. You gotta look at your life from a different vantage point. You got to see uh, some see and, and, and get with someone who has uh, had the same or similar situation as yours and figure out what they did to get where they are. So you're going to have to examine your life from a different vantage point through heaven's eyes, through God's eyes, so that you can see some things you don't ordinarily see, so that you can do some things you don't ordinarily do, so that you can have some things you wouldn't ordinarily have, that you don't currently have. But it's going to require that you take some risk. See, 8 out of 10 millionaires have been financially bankrupt. Eight out of ten millionaires have lost it all. Do you know what it's like to risk and lose it all? Now, one thing's for sure, I've heard it said like this. If you're not willing to risk, you cannot grow. And if you cannot grow, you cannot become your best. And if you can't become your best, you can't be happy. And if you can't be happy, then what else is there? So the risk is there. You're going to have to take some risk. So you can look at it one of two ways. You can take no risk and gain nothing at all, or you can take some risk 
and gain it all. The choice is yours. How are you spending your 24 hours? Are you looking at your life through the same frame? Are you still looking at your life from the same vantage point? Have you taken time out to take a, a, a refreshing new look at your life and your situation and where you are and who you've been up to this point so that you can make some changes, take those necessary risks, not foolish risks, necessary risks, so that you can get to the place that you're headed. So if eight out of 10 millionaires have been financially bankrupt, the majority of millionaires have had some failures in their lives, but they didn't give up, they overcame it. I saw something, uh, heard something the other day that um, a lot of us are, are dying because of the things that we are eating. But I also heard that a lot of us are dying because of the things that are eating away at us. The things that are eating away at us are the things that um, we wish we would have done. You know, the woulda, shoulda, coulda. If I had it all to do over again, I would do more than what I've been doing or I would have made a better decision. Well, the time is now to take time out to look at your life from a different vantage point, a different viewpoint through heaven's eyes, through God's eyes, get some mentoring, get some coaching, get around some people who are highly motivated, positive, positive uh, energy people who are high energy people who are true, have a true desire to succeed and have a true desire to teach you what you need to know so that you can succeed. So the choice is yours. How are you going to spend the next 24 hours? How are you going to spend the next 24 hours each day of your life? Remember, the billionaire and the beggar have the same 24 hours. So if you want to be around, if you don't know anyone to get around uh, that can show you how to be successful, how to change your life, how to go ahead in a different direction, I know some people that may be able to help you. I can get you on the phone with them. They can teach you the same things that they're teaching me. This is just a formula. Find someone who has what you want, learn what they know, do what they do, and you will ultimately have what they have. It's just a formula. So if the people around you don't have what you want, it's time for you to get a new group. It's time for you to get a new vantage point so that you can not only view your life from a different vantage point, but you can experience your life from a different vantage point. Listen, that's my time. Uh, again, I'm working on a financial freedom project. I'm aligned with some very wealthy business owners and entrepreneurs who are serious about helping people like me, people like you, view themselves from a different vantage point, view their lives from a different vantage point, and to go after that which you seek and behold and obtain it. So if you're serious about change, you're serious about a new vantage point, give me a call, shoot me a text, 901-646-1393. Shoot me a message below this uh, video or send me a message in my inbox, say more info. We need to get together. Let's take change and let's make it happen. Listen, that's my time as always. I'm passionately empowering people and always live for today and plan for tomorrow. God bless.